Good day. Thanks for joining me again on this chilly morning down in the Thames as I search for more history in the mud. It's going to be pretty chilled, nothing too stressful. I'm pretty much I'm just going to go for a walk and um, yeah, cover some ground and see if we can um, pick anything up off the foreshore. So um, yeah, join me, see how we go. spots like this so is that some sort of makeup container oh what's that on top hs mm, what could hs be okay but i want to show you the pottery the little pieces around here isn't that lovely it's, it's, the, it's the ones that are upside down um it's the Oh, yep, that's got something on the other side. That's nice, isn't it? That's got something. It's already up the right way. Play pipe. Ah, dropped it. I've seen it on it. Nothing. Oh, that's a nice one. Oh, cool, look at that. It's a flower. And it's got the leaves, the stem, the flower with the petals on it. But look how the river has worn it. Hey, okay? it's worn it down those edges. They're perfectly smooth. I think that would have once been a shattered, sharp piece of um, pottery, a bit of porcelain once. Is that a stone or a piece of brass? That's a bit of brass. Where could that be from? Could that be? That is so heavy. Okay, give it a clean up, see if I can see what it was. Is, has been. Oh yeah, how cool is that? Oh, that's incredible. Oh, that, that's sunk in there. That's right down. Wouldn't that make an awesome, some kind of garden ornament? Hey, fresh from the Thames. piece of pipe. Look at that, leaf litter, cans, stones, and rubbish. Look at that, absolutely covered. The whole foreshore. The birds are loving it though. Look at them. Everywhere. Enjoying the calm water, guys. Yep. So lovely. Oh, it looks from the handle. Isn't that nice.
come down, come down. But no, it's not that. That's just a little the timber wheelie thing, the grinding, whatever. It is that. That looks like a piece of shrapnel. I think it is. That's a piece of World War II anti-aircraft shrapnel. Okay, I just pop down on my knees to have a look through this little bit of iron here. Look at that. How cool is that? Little hook. Isn't that cool? There is just so much stuff in this iron. Oh, there we go. Is that a little shank from a button, perhaps? Yeah, what's that? Oh, there's a little um, corset fastener. It's just full of it. You could spend hours just in this, this couple of couple of meters here. All right, three little things in this one little spot. Where are we first here? A little um, little fastener there. Um, what do I see down near my knees? That. Oh, I forgot a lid to a little on a lipstick container or something like that, perhaps. And then, lucky last. I see a fly button. Oh, within reach of each other. Oh, that's nice, look at that. Oh, what's written on that? What is written on that? Oh, okay, that's gonna be a nice cleanup. Let's see if I can try the Steve Hooker's trick. A little bit of um, oh, a little bit of mud. Oh, mud god Brooker, it's working again. You are a legend. I suppose 10, 20, 30 years experience where he's got. He outranks me, doesn't he? He's learnt. Oh, that is nice. That's cool. What's that saying? Is it double ring? Lovely symbols on there. That's a cool little fly button. Very cool. Okay, as you can see, there's quite a bit of mud mixed in with all this rubbish here. So I decided to have a little scrape around. You can see where I've been scraping around. There's a few bits and pieces around. Um, but I just had a little scrape here and I've seen something flip over and hide in the mud. That looks like a little shank to you. It does. Let me feel, oh, it's flat on the back. There's a little flat button. Yep, it is. Cool. Okay, a little tom back. That's nice. So that is tom back buttons. Typically, what late 1700s, early 1800s. So 200 plus years old. Nice. What a nice little find. Just by having a little scrape. Might have to scrape a bit more. Luckily, I just saw that poking out. So, um, it's a little shank. Cool. That's a little hobnail boot. I think that's too small for a pony. Yeah, 
Yeah, it's about boot size, isn't it? Exactly. Little pits in these little nails. And he leaps from rock to rock with the grace of a mountain goat. Okay, so that little bit of clay pipe caught my eye. But have a look down here. Looks just like a bit of a rock. You see that sharpness on it? Oh, that's big. Oh, it is. That is another piece of World War II anti-aircraft shrapnel. Oh, that is cool. That is cool. That is sharp. That is heavy. Now it's so hard to see anything today with all this mud. But when you look at all these things here that look like little stones. Can you see that one? Yep, some cod bottle marble. Cool. It's hard in all this mud, but they're there. They're just hiding very well. So the cod bottle marble was just there, and I've just taken a few steps here. Check out that. Hey. Oh yes. That's a um, clay marble. How cool is that? That's like um, what I used to call them when I was young. The tombola. The big ones. That is nice. I only found a couple of small ones before. I've never found a big one like this. That is so cool. Oh, that'll look nice when it dries out. There's another cod bottle marble. Hiding in the mud. Surrounded by seagull footprints. Two, two, two lovely green marbles. Following this little trickling stream down to the foreshore, there is something under there. It could be junk, it could be something amazing. Oh, it's something. Oh, what is that? What is that? Oh, it's some kind of little, okay, what do I call it, a holder? Holding, only holding mud at the moment, but it's, oh, it's got a little um, loopy bit, a hingy thing on the side. I that's... There we go. Oh, what could that be? It's like a little, I wonder if it's like a little matchstick holder or something. Completely, completely wrong. Oh, my mind is just, what could it be? What could it be? What do you think that could be? Could it hang? No, I don't think so. Could have had a lid to it, maybe. No, it doesn't, I can't see any bit through a lid would have gone. Hmm, okay. Might need your help, everyone. What do you think this is? That is just mud inside, I think. Yep, it's just mud. What do you think this could be? Okay, with the tide lapping at my feet, I think I might have found a really cool 
little pond. Where are we? In here. What do you think? Oh, maybe not. Something with wire on it. Oh, actually it is. Actually, so I'm just saving my feet from the water. Slightly distracted. Um, it is, yeah, it's got a little shank on the back, a little hook there. Oh, look at that. That is, that's, um, that's a pin shank button. I found a pin shank one a oh, long time ago. Um, but have a look, that is Mother of Pearl. Oh, that's so great. So the front of that is Mother of Pearl. It's just made out of, out of Mother of Pearl shell. That is such a cool button. Yeah, that's amazing. It's a tiny little thing, but that's so nice. Okay, I need to go. I am getting swamped. My trail is about to disappear. I've got more mud to look in, and it is mud. Ooh, that is stone. Do you think that could be fossilized shell? Wow. I saw some lines on the piece. Whatever that was, but that, that's actually stone. Yeah. Yeah. Could that be a fossil? It looks a bit too rough to just to be like a been engraved to have been cut into it. How cool would that be? Any fossil experts out there come across something like this before? What do you think? Look at that! Oh wow! That's... Oh, is that part of an old boot? Oh wow! stitching on it and the lace the lace holes I imagine wow that is awesome <laughs> that's such a nice find look at the detail on it the old leather Ooh, a coin! An incredibly worn coin. Okay. I don't think if the other side is as bad as this, I'm not gonna see what that is. Unfortunately, I don't think there's gonna be any detail of that. I'll Put on some electrolysis. 
give it a slow buzz to see if I can get some of this off and see, but I expect it'll be the same as that side. Depends which one was getting washed with this um, water though, that's all. If it was facing down, it could have some more detail on it. Fingers crossed. Keep searching here for a bit more. Okay, sound. Flavour. Oh, it's quite worn. Oh, it's got some writing on it. Can't make that out. But, um, yeah, nice. Can we see anything? What's that? What's that? Oh, it's like a little eyelet. That did look like a coin. Oh, there's a shape. Look at that. Oh, is there a head on it? Oh, that's a young. Oh, is that a young Victoria? Let's see, where is it written on the side? Oh, there we go. Can you see that written on the top, Victoria? Yeah, a lovely Queen Victoria. Yep, 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 nice. There's the Britannia. Oh, that's nice. A bit worn, obviously, from being washed with this water for so long. What's the year on that? I can see an 18... 1872, I think. Yeah, it's 150 years old. How nice is that? It's the 150-year-old coin. Just sitting here. Hiding under about half an inch of sand. Nice. Alright, thanks for spending the day with me. That was a nice relaxing day in the foreshore. So I'm out of here now. I'm going up, apart from tripping over, I'm going up those stairs. <laughs>